I am Dr. Pradeep Kaur from Dasan Brown World School. We all know the importance of nutrition and healthy eating in a child's life. It is not only important for the physical and mental development of the child, but equally important for its immunity, for their mood, mind and stabilizing the energy. Since we are under lockdown and children have unfettered access to food and snacks, they are going to unending munching. So I would like to give you a few tips on healthy eating and nutrition for children. First and foremost is eat healthy, eat wisely and eat timely. Usually we recommend three meals and two snacks for children in a day. Now since they are not doing too much of physical activity, so two meals and two snacks are ideal. Here I would like to tell you that the ideal Indian thali which consists of chapati, sabzi, rice, dal, curd and salad offers the balanced diet to children. So even if your child is eating two such meals and two snacks that would offer a nutritious diet to them. Eating on time is equally important because our body's metabolism works better when the food is ingested at regular intervals. Limit the intake of sugar. I know it's a hard job. So don't skip the uh, or ban the sweets completely. You can keep it as a special reward, but don't make it as a regular diet. Modify the uh, recipes by adding less sugar. Offer fruits in the form of desserts. Make regular family meals. Don't battle over the food. If the child is not liking a particular sabzi or that, don't force upon them. Because the aim is the child will also learn what he or she is eating. Involve children in the meal plan. Let the child choose the menu for the day. They can help you by shelling the peas, washing the vegetables, cutting the vegetables and making fruit salads. And But keep in mind the age and the safety of the child. Set the snack boundaries. Chips, chocolates and colas are the most popular snacks which are consumed these days. But it is okay to consume them once in a while. So teach your child before asking for a snack. Tell them to eat the snack at the table, not in front of the TV. Offer the snacks in a plate or a bowl instead of handing the whole packet to the child. And of course, limit the quantity of the snacks. Most important, children have tendency not to drink enough water, which causes digestion and irritation problems in children. They might be more lethargic and having poor concentration in studies. So, usually we recommend one liter of water for children in a day. So, you can give it in the form of juice as well as lassi also. Try to be a role model by eating healthy yourself. So, the child is also motivated to eat healthy and nutritious food. Stay happy, stay healthy and eat a balanced diet. Thank you.